Did you see Maxime Bernier on fucking Tucker Carlson yesterday? Did you guys what see this? Oh it started off with a big giant Tucker Tucker Carlson lie that that Max went this. Oh, that's exactly right. And I was that's just like, exactly. what? It was a big lie. He said that didn't. Act. He said Trudeau's police arrested you. And he's yeah. like, that's exactly Tucker. I got he's the like, clip here. I'm gonna play it for you so people can. This is Tucker Carlson, or as I call him, Fucker Carlson, uh, interviewing Maxime Bernier, representing his arrest in Manitoba as like a crackdown on free speech by the Canadian communist regime. Oh, Max and has gone Bernier so fucking came in his pants. Want to know how fast a democracy can can, be, can become authoritarian? Well, one of the most prominent political figures in Canada, a man called Maxime Bernier, went to a protest against lockdowns outdoors and was arrested by the regime for doing it. Yeah. Mr. Bernier, thanks so much for coming on. Oh, my God. It's, from an American perspective, it's remarkable that the government, the Trudeau government, would arrest its political opponent for complaining about its policies. That's what it seems like from our perspective. What's your view? You're absolutely right, Tucker. I'm very pleased to be with you, very pleased to be free. But yes, you know, I'm doing a tour across the country to speak against these authoritarian lockdowns and stay-at-home order. And I'm the only political leader in Canada who is speaking against that. And in that tour, I, I had planned to be in Manitoba. And just before coming to Manitoba, oh. the premier of that province uh, threatened me. He said in a press conference the day before I arrived there that I was not welcome. And if I'm coming to Manitoba, he said that my, my, uh, he will em em empty my, my wallet. So, so he doesn't want to have any discussion about the, his uh, policies and actually you're right i was out there with my supporters and, and speaking to be ready for the next election speaking about my values and just after that they arrested me in canada you cannot speak against the regime it was a political oh repression what an I mean, from our perspective, if this can happen in Canada, we should be afraid very quickly. Is anyone else in Canada afraid of what's happening? Do people see this as, as scary? But I was not the only one to be put in jail for uh, my belief. And in Canada right now, in 2021, you are like in China. And like I said to the policeman, right. my weapon is my words, and I will always <laughs> use my I words to for fight for more small. freedom and a smaller government <laughs> in Canada. Maxime Bernier, Listen we're out of this. time. Listen to this. We are rooting for you. <laughs> He's rooting for Maxime Bernier. That is the fucking greatest. I told you. I told you he got arrested on purpose. Mike Bullard, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Bullard is Mike Bullard. He's giving us the finger. Mike Bullard, ladies and gentlemen. Go back um, to your hole, Bullard. Okay. No. Sorry. Did you guys? <laughs> I, am I? Am I? Uh, am I way off in assuming that that was a big cocked up like presser that uh, that fucker Carlson identifies with another? impending racist uh like is that is that are these just two peas it, in a pod because they misrepresented the whole thing it's Carlson almost like Gams. they have a narrative that they're trying to fill Weird. <laughs> almost. Like, like, you know yeah, carlson yeah. will put on anybody who supports his ridiculously right-wing uh stance on the world Can we talk about maxine bernier's haircut and the fact that he looks like he might be a, a leader for a uh, nazi youth group